feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another ref. Recording. You want to talk about receipts? I've had the bearded fucking wonder up here in the top fucking right already fucking lie on himself, claim that I was fucking being deceptive and not telling the truth. And then out of his own fucking mouth, he fucking, he, 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 he what, what's the word? He, he confirmed everything I fucking said out of his own fucking mouth. Oh, I wasn't trying to do this. Bam. He's, he admits that he was trying to fucking tell me what I should and shouldn't say. But then he wants to come in and he wants to finesse me and rub my fucking shoulders before he sticks his fucking little dick in my ass, right? Trying to fucking finesse me by saying, oh, I was just trying to warn you to fucking keep you out of fucking trouble. Yeah, you're trying to fucking, you're trying to do what with my free speech? How many times have I told you, Cliff, I'm a big boy? I will fucking sink or swim under my own fuck. And you warning me, oh, they're going to come and destroy you, GS. Let them fucking come, dude. So I have been, I just recently came back from getting married. It was a wonderful experience, and I'm happy to be back. But in the process of coming back, there seems to be a little something amiss in the communities that is 1A community, uh, generally specifics community, wherever you want to call that. I know he's been kind of courting or figuring out a little bit of the manosphere community and the vinyl community. Anyway, I know he's doing his thing, and I, I have no ill will against any of the people actually who I've seen on the panel. And from the time that I have, <laughs> from the time that I have met GS and Cliff, I never really spoke with uh, uh, the angry vet or maybe even FPS or 4PS for public safety. But I've distanced myself from any of the bullshit, which it sounds like is going on now. So I really don't even know exactly what's going on. But I just kind of wanted to get a little tiny snippet of what it is I see from my perspective. Just kind of checking things out. So that's where we are right now. Fucking come. Bring your best fucking shot. Because you motherfuckers are in my fucking chat right now. Trying to desperate for some fucking content for you to fucking talk about in my fucking chat. Fuck off. You got nothing fucking better to do on a fucking Wednesday. Or a, is it a Wednesday? Uh, well, it's a Wednesday morning. You got nothing fucking better to do. You got nothing going on with your life. Nothing. Nothing more important that you could be doing. I got 52 people watching right now. There's nothing more important that you could be fucking doing right now. Yeah. And by the way, maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah. By the way, uh, I, I've been hearing this off and on. It is 3.06 in the morning on a Wednesday. I have some stuff that I'm going to do. Just got back and, you know, all the businesses that did well while we were gone. So, but uh, I feel like I'm a part of this community on some level. But again, I distance myself from the bullshit. So, as far as I'm concerned, if you want to call this a statement of my loyalty to whoever it is, I mean, everybody knows and I'm not I am neither loyal to anyone's particular cause. I am just simply. I mean, I started I started doing what I'm doing for reasons that I think are far more noble than just simply creating a channel. And, uh, you know, getting views, because, I mean, we all know how many how many subscribers I have. I love every single one of you and I appreciate it. I appreciate the people who support me in as the smallest or the biggest ways that you can. But um, it is fascinating to see people 
kind of melt down away from what they would consider their core value stance because I don't think any of these people, I mean, the angry vet, he can cuss and do all the things that he does, you know, generally specific. He does fly off the handle sometimes. All of these people have been in contact with each other on some level, and then all of a sudden they have this rift. So I'm just basically saying, you know, figure the shit out, fellas, and uh, give us content that progresses us as people, as a uh, as a race, as an ideological kind of standpoint, you know, progress us that way. And I'm not saying any of this is taking away from us, but I don't think it's building us up. Whatever community you subscribe to. So I only have a few more minutes. Uh, Maybe this would be like a five minute. This proves you're so fucking vapidly vacated and there's nothing going on in your fucking lives that you're so fucking lonely That you're going to sit here and fucking slurp up the fucking drama. I'm popping a fucking giant zit. That's what the fuck I'm doing. Almost the exact opposite of, I mean, exactly what I said. I'm not slurping any of this up. I'm I'm kind of appalled is too strong of a word. And I think what I'm going to do is probably have, and this part portion may not make it to the video, but I might have a conversation on the side with both generally specific and cliff <clears throat> excuse me cliff williams because that's how i do things i may not get the opportunity to speak with uh, the angry vet but this seems to be bullshit right now i'm calling you motherfuckers out that's exactly what the fuck i'm doing right now every fucking thing i'm saying has been the fucking truth and every time you try to come in here and fucking milly mouth it and try to fucking quantify and qualify all the fucking bullshit lies that you're fucking claiming aren't fucking lies, I play the fucking video and within fucking two seconds, you prove everything I just fucking said. And it's very possible that what you have said over these seven or eight hours that this video has been going on. It's been nine hour, nine hour live that you've had, marathon as live, that you've dropped some truth and more power to you. But I'm just going to bring it down to you this way. Usually the simplest way of viewing things is the most correct way for it to be viewed. And all of this elaborate showing this stuff, for nine hours i mean i don't know what is it accomplishing my my man my guy what is it accomplished all of you there's one guy on there i don't know who what his name was but he came on and he was talking about you know i didn't mean for this to be blown up like this and everybody should just step back and take a moment and honestly i think that's what i would have said i would have said why are you guys entertaining this bullshit step back talk about it on a different platform in a different way where's your poise and then you go no but no no but rules they don't apply to me they apply to you this is about trust this isn't about this isn't yeah, about trust. uh you know being able to get along it's about being able to trust someone <laughs> yeah, all he does is sit around all day long and fucking whine on panels. I, I hear, hey, Chris, I, I hear you about the trust. One and of- there he goes again, taking that high road. You know who the accuser of the brother in our cliff? The fucking devil. I thought you were a Christian, Cliff. Why are you accusing the brother? I have called you the fuck out so many times. You have accused me of lying. I've shown the fucking proof. You've confessed it out of your own fucking mouth within seconds of me stating exactly what you'd fucking denied minutes before cliff when are you gonna fucking do just take the l man go reflect go reflect go pray on it you claim that i i I brought christianity into your life this is why a lot of people would say i'd rather sleep on the ground surrounded by a bunch of hungry cannibals in on a tribe that i've never visited before than lay next to a bunch of fucking christians that's exactly your fucking bullshit right there is exactly why people don't trust Christians. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's the analogy you want to come with? I mean, I'm fascinated by that. That I mean, you know, if people think that way about Christians, if they, people think that way about me, I consider myself a Christian, uh, then I'm doing something wrong. And again, I just want to make it clear. I am neither for this fiasco or against it. I am not for dissension. The word duplicity has come up a number of times. I don't know why there's a duality of, you know, what types of things come out. And, you know, we all know if you if you've watched any number of GS's content, you know how sometimes he can get to a point where he flies off the handle or whatever you want to call it. I mean, but I do. I think that um, he is in search of the truth. And I don't know what exactly has gone on with this whole entire fiasco. And I believe you, me. I am going to get to the bottom of it for me. Because when it comes to talking to all of the friends of this community or the community that I happen to be in contact with, um, you know, I'd like to know where I fall, who I am for and who I'm against, all of that stuff. So, you know, it matters to me to figure it out. So wherever I need to start, if you guys know, drop it in the comment what video I need to start with. In order to kind of suss it all out, then, you know, maybe I will. But I don't have nine hours in a day to have listened to all of the stuff that's gone on. And yes, I might uh, check it out. And God knows what video this uh, started with, where it came from. I think I kind of heard when I was hitting balls today where it kind of came from. But it's all it's all Jewish to me. Maybe that's not the term I want to use. It's all Yiddish is that the is that what I was thinking about some la some language that I don't know that's what it is to me the things I also I always say to folks is you know you always give person enough rope to hang themselves that's right yeah I get that you know he's that's had a hang. lot of rope man we've been being quiet and let uh, he had a lot of rope man we've been being quiet no you haven't you motherfuckers haven't shut the fuck up. You motherfucking lying sons of bitches been talking shit behind my back and fucking email chaining anyone you can fucking email to fucking get people to fucking turn against me because you don't want someone that speaks the fucking truth in your community. You want sycophants. You want followers. You want people that will fucking suck and bow and scrape everything you put in their fucking mouth. That's what the fuck you want. You want fucking automatons and robots. You want golems that you can command. You don't want someone that's going to go, hey, that's that doesn't sound right. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck did I just hear? What the fuck did he just say? You don't fucking want people that ask questions, do you? Yeah, I have a lot of fucking questions. Yeah, Cliff. Yeah. Einstein. He's a Jew. He said the important thing is to we question everything. To never stop me, questioning. Yes. Socrates. F the asking of the question one often finds the answer. The Socratic method. Yeah. Sorry. Question. You can see behind me. It says FAQ. I ask questions. I want to seek. I want to find the answers. And uh, I'm curious to know what has gone amiss. So stay tuned. I will definitely try to figure it all out. My name's Craig. I am back to madness. And uh, we got a little juiciness going on on some level, however you want to look at it. But as juicy as it is. It can also get unjuicy and a little muddy. The muddy waters are seem seem to be welling up. And things become a little bit less uh, visible. And I think the more that everybody talks, the less uh, obvious and clear it is. So separate yourself on some level with regards to stepping back a little bit and seeing if you can get a, a general idea of the big picture. And I honestly just wanted to give my little piece of what my thoughts are with regards to what's going on. And at the end of the day, I'm going to dig down and figure out what's going on from there. So. And whether you be on the right side or the left side, as far as I'm concerned, all I really want you to do is meet me somewhere here in the middle. Because 
any way you go on the outside of the extremes it's likely going to be problematic for problematic for one party or the other and you're not going to be doing too much communi- uh, too much communication so again my name is Craig I am fact the madness and take care peace thank you for watching if you have a video you'd like for us to cover use the submit link in the description or pinned comment if you enjoyed this one consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment we will continue to respectfully exercise our first amendment rights and published interactions we have with government officials remember to like share and leave a comment it's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel i want to be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and you'll be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.